My ex cheated, and now I'm at the lowest point in my life. Me, F21, and my ex, M23. We will call him T. Dated for three years, we have a 10-month-old son and are now living in different houses because he just couldn't stop cheating. To be 100% transparent, I cheated first when we had just started dating. I tried to break up with him out of fear that we wouldn't work out and he was against ending things, so I cheated with someone from work who wasn't from our hometown. It lasted about a week and then I ended things with the guy from work. When asked a couple weeks later, I came clean about everything and said I understood if he wanted to end things. He said he didn't, and I asked if he wanted to get even because if we really wanted to work things out I didn't want this to come back in the future. He said no that he loved me too much to do that. I know how stupid of me it was to say that I was just in a very low place I had never done anything like this and had always been the one to get cheated on so I knew how shitty he was feeling and just wanted to give him some kind of power to feel better. I would go on to apologize for months and we eventually got back to normal. It is still to this day my biggest regret. Fast forward about a year, we are in an amazing spot in our relationship slash life. He is almost done building our home, and we both have good jobs. I find out I'm pregnant, and when I tell him he is upset saying we aren't ready, and he is scared. I was kind of put off by this as I always tell him we need protection, and he would refuse. He knew I wasn't on birth control. I told him everything would be okay that we would just need to start saving and preparing for the change, but that if he didn't want to do this with me or felt unsure I would never force him to be in the baby's life. All throughout the pregnancy he was very involved in what I would eat, drink even the chemicals I used to clean. He was always worried about the baby and what I was exposing him to. He went to as many appointments as possible and would still sleep with me. But when it came to me asking for foot-slash-back rubs, scratching my legs as it was nearly impossible to do or even complimenting me, he never would even after I asked. I noticed but never said anything as I thought it was all in my head and my hormones were just everywhere. At nine months I get another vaginal exam as you have to get one at your first appointment and around your last. They tell me I have chlamydia and give me meds. When I confront T, he denies everything and I believe him. I knew deep down but was too hurt to say anything and scared to go through this alone. My next exam comes back clean and I have a safe delivery. I had our son and the whole time T was on his phone. I had to beg for a kiss for him to come sit next to me instead of on the couch across the room. My labor and delivery started from 9 a.m. and ended at 8 p.m. My water was broken by the doctor at 3 centimeters, that's super early and caused me to be in a lot of pain. I was unable to get out of bed, so I was just laying in bed having laboring contractions one minute apart for a whole hour before I asked for an epidural. T came over to hold my hand while I got the medicine then went back to his side of the room. At that part, I could not care less I was just happy I could finally rest. I woke up and my baby's heartbeat had stopped. You could hear it on the monitor. The nurses came in and checked me I had gone from a 3 to 10 in 4 hours. They were able to find his heart beat, but it was really faint. At this point I'm ready to push and T is finally standing next to me. The doctor fairly makes it in time to put on gloves before my son is born. When we get to the recovery room I'm itching all over from sweating and the epidural wearing off. I asked T if he can scratch my ankles because I'm still sore and it hurts to lean forward. He refuses and tells me just to go to sleep that it's not that bad I beg. Tears in my eyes, saying I promise it won't take long he says no and goes to sleep. Moments later our son wakes up and he doesn't get up to help just rolls over. We are able to go home the next day things aren't really different when we get home. He helps around family, but when it's just us he puts all the work on me, unless I beg him. At night when I wake up to breastfeed he stays asleep even though the baby would scream and cry, as at first I struggled with my supply and getting him to latch. I know T heard him as he would give me dirty looks and roll over. It never failed when I would change his diaper before putting him back to sleep. He would start screaming again, and T would ask, DBTF are you doing? 
Why the hell is he crying? I would ignore him and just finish fast so I could get the baby back to sleep. I start to get a feeling something's going on so three weeks after I gave birth I go through his phone. I find out he had cheated on me with three other women throughout my entire pregnancy and after. One I didn't know and the other two girls I went to school with one being an old friend and the other used to bully me. T knew my past with these two as we all went to the same high school and I had also spoken to him about them both. Apparently the bully had texted him every month for years, meaning he had been cheating the whole relationship. Later on I find out that's who he lost his virginity to. I forgive him, and we move on from it. A couple months later things are great, and we start talking about marriage. I get a random felling to go through his phone, and when I do I find more girls. One is an old friend's older sister and the other I have never met. We argue and he threatens to hurt himself. I sleep in a different room, but eventually give in, and we go back to normal after he promises to never do it again. I tell him he needs to speak with a professional, and he puts it off until I just give up on saying anything cause it just turns into an argument. I find out he sent $175 to his ex, who I almost fought while I'm filling my gas tank with $1 bills to get me by until payday. I am upset as his ex is not a good person at all and treated him terrible. A couple months later, and I catch him again with three other women too whom he used to work with. He told one that he wished she was the mother of his children. The other was his ex he was sending money to a couple months prior. I had finally had enough and moved in with my grandmother. She is recovering from surgery for cancer so I help take care of her. T only get our son twice a week because he says he is scared to take care of him alone and feels bad taking him. He constantly plays victim and begs for me to come back, saying I promised we would always be together. When he does pick up our son he tries to kiss me, and when I refuse he acts like his feelings are hurt. Last week I had my yearly checkup which includes a vaginal exam. I get a call back this week saying I am HVV positive and that my cell tissue count came back abnormal. They said because of this I will need a biopsy as it could be cancer. T is still refusing that he ever slept with anyone. My heart is crushed because I may never have any more kids and all I've ever wanted was to be a mom. I am now terrified that I may not get to be there for my son and am taking in every moment with him that I can. Sorry for the long post I had to get this all off my chest.